Steel workers were the architects of Weirton's identity. They gave the city their labor, their energy, and tragically, sometimes their lives. A memorial today looked to the past to remember their dedication and who, to the failure to stop accidents before they happen. 7 News reporter Colin Roos heard their stories. A century of sacrifice is remembered through this wall on Pennsylvania Avenue in Weirton. It lists over 120 steel workers killed on the job, but the city remembers them through more than just their names. Through the morning rain, those part of the mill's past and present reflected on their loved ones and on safety. Through poems and personal accounts, they spoke about the risks workers took all to provide for their families. The union president says reminders of past tragedies contributed to a recent 20-year period with no fatalities. Every accident could be prevented, okay, and uh, sometimes people aren't aware of, they take things for granted, they've been doing it for years and years and years, and then it takes one mistake, you know, one error that can cost you a serious injury or fatality. Speakers also touched on the heartbreak of losing a husband, a brother, a friend to steelwork. Haley Pokowalski took the podium to honor her father, Tim, who passed away from workplace injuries just three years ago. Standing beside his boots and his hard hat, she affirmed that the community and the country need workers like him as much as they ever have. Union labor has built the American dream. The worker's sacrifice has allowed us to achieve our dreams. As Taps and Amazing Grace played, those who paid their respects were left to think about how to move forward. Even with modern methods and technologies, Clyptus says the danger remains for those who walk into the plant every day. And so I think the pro safety has greatly improved, but you're never, never satisfied until you get to zero. That's why the, the phrase journey to zero. The ceremony ended with a bell ringing for each and every one of these names and a prayer that the journey to zero will march forward. Reporting in Weirton, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thank you, Colin. A special acknowledgement was also made of the 19 workers who died in the 1972 Browns Island explosion. Many of those victims did not work for the mill, but were contractors from throughout the Ohio Valley.